My dad was uh, strictly a soul stitcher. He ran a British high-speed machine, and that's what he did. He was very good at what he did. I grew up in a little town called Dexter, Maine, and uh, lived there for 46 years. There wasn't too many families who didn't have a shoemaker in their family. You know, I graduated on a Thursday evening, and I started, you know, on a Monday. I was very fortunate enough when I was young that I had a couple of mentors that really showed me a lot. They saw something in me that, that maybe somebody else didn't. Really gave me the opportunity to uh, make something of myself. Because I started out just like these guys did, right at the bottom. Shoemaking for a living is really kind of a, a lost art now. It's something you do with your hands. It's something that, for the most part, cannot be automated because of the vast sizes and styles and widths. A true craftsman, a true cobbler can take a piece of leather and make something out of it and that he's proud to do. The specialty line and the high-end part of the company is uh, made in my department for the simple reason of taking the extra time to put in the fine details that's involved with one of our best-looking shoes that we can make. The Independence Collection is our premier shoe. Two colored soles, two colored top lifts, lamb lining, and the best outer leather that money can buy. You know, shoemaking is not, and you really need to take your time and do it right the first time. This isn't just a job anymore for me. This isn't, you know, just a paycheck anymore for me. This is what I enjoy doing, and uh, I like being a craftsman.